Okay, now time for some fun. We get to talk a little baseball. The Hamilton Cardinals having a solid start to their season, going 12 and 8 so far. And the man with a front row seat to this year's <laughs> campaign is here to break it all down for us. It's Cardinals commentator Neil Srivastava. He joins us right now. Neil, thanks for coming. Thanks man. for having Much us, appreciate it. Really I got, appreciate it. I got really excited that Tim was off and I was going to get to do one of That's these Cardinals awesome, yeah. chats. Yeah. So, you know, I, from a viewer's perspective, 12 and 8, not a bad start not to the season. Not a bad season. season at all. What are your thoughts so far on the campaign? Very young team that's coming together really nicely. They're having a lot of fun playing with, with each other and just having fun playing baseball again, which is you know really, really important, especially this time of the year, especially when it's a 42-game season. It's a long grind to get to August. Absolutely. I mean, 42 games, that's, that's not a little amount, even nope. for a, a smaller league like the IBL. How would you compare this year's Cardinals to previous year's teams? Definitely off to a better start. Definitely starting to get feel like they're, I don't know, making a name for themselves this year. I think there's just a whole culture change in Hamilton this year with new ownership, new players involved and everything else. Everybody just kind of joined together and... Well, you know, it's really great to see this community embracing baseball again. Tell me a little bit more about what you're talking about when you say a culture change. How are things changing here in Hamilton? Well, a lot of player changes, a lot of ownership changes, a lot of guys, you know, a lot more community focused on trying to build the game of baseball in the community. So that's it's huge as far as especially when a league like this and everything else, especially with the long history in the league. The league's now 104 years old too, so it helps. And you guys are getting a pretty good turnout. I, I myself was at a game uh, ooh, maybe a month ago, three weeks yeah. ago, something like that. Nice. It's a nice turnout. Fans seem very passionate. What does the team need to do to improve on that 12-8 and 8 record to maybe inspire a little more passion from the fans? Uh, maybe just cut down on the mental and physical errors they've been making here and there. Of course, they lost to London, which was a heartbreaker. They had a 4-0 lead and they yeah. lost 5-4. So it's, it's hard. But again, London is a two-time defending champion. So it's hard to put a, I don't know, a, a question mark or anything behind it. Just, you know, the pitching's coming along, defense is coming along, just got to cut down on the physical and mental errors, and I think they're going to be fine. Who's the team they got to be? Like, what, what, what's the top team in the area that they're Well, of course, right now, the Lone Jackfish are in first place, Kitchener Panthers and Barry Bay Cats right on their heels. And of course, Kid Hamilton now in fourth place. Just, there's only two games of difference in the standings right now, so it's not like they're too far out, and there's only, and again, the top five teams are within three games of each other as far as the standings go, so they could definitely... There's time to make some movements, time to make some adjustments, and, you know, maybe get that home field playoff spot in the first round because everybody makes the playoffs as well. That's great. And, and bigger picture, you know, with, with baseball being, you know, a popular sport in Hamilton, but yeah. you've got a very long history with IBL. How have, you things seen, how have you seen things change over the years in the league? I think the league's gotten better as far as talent-wise. I think you're seeing a lot of more former pros. We've got guys, guys are playing at a higher level, the collegiate level as well, coming back into the league and just having some fun. Of course, last year the Royals had Dalton Pompey, the former Blue Jay. They've got his son, Tristan, or not his son, his brother, Tristan Pompey, playing now as well. And you, you see a lot of former major leaguers playing in this league here. Just maybe, maybe their last kick at the can or something, just that they want to give back to the, the game of baseball that they love so much. I know you guys got a game on Friday, I believe. Can yep. you tell me a little bit about what we should expect in that contest? Okay, so we're playing the Brantford Red Sox. The Burning Arbor Stadium, 735 start. Make sure you get your tickets online at Hamilton Cardinals. Tickets. Yes, get tickets. But yes, we're playing the Brantford Red Sox. Brantford is a very young team. They're unfortunately in the bottom of the league, but they're definitely coming along. They got a really good hitter by the name of Matt Fabian, their second baseman. He's batting 470 on the season, which leads the league in average, anyways. But yeah, he's a young guy, young team. Cardinals are going to probably give them a, they'll give them a good run for the money. Well, that's good at least. And then we've only got a few seconds left, but after they get through Friday, uh, anything on the horizon that fans should be aware about in terms of opponents? Uh, just, uh, we, got, uh, we, do believe we have, have the Wall and Jackfish, the London Majors coming into town very soon. Of course, it'll be tough games. Of course, the Kitchener Panthers are right. Everyone, Barry Bay Cats have played us tough as well. Now, is it friendly rivalry or, or is the rivalry real? Are you guys rivalry, really? There's not, there's not anybody we're going to you know, get really mad if somebody throws at somebody at it, but there's definitely the rivalry and everything. Else. There's always rivalries because everybody as well, especially with Wellen just up the street. There's an actual rivalry just geographically with us, with them and Guelph as well. That's awesome. Well, Neil, thanks so much for joining Absolutely. us. That's all the time we have. I know I'm definitely going to be attending a few more games this season. I highly recommend it. It is a lot of fun. So yep. hopefully I see you there. I definitely hope we see you.